Hey guys, welcome back to the show. This is of course Full Power Pillock and today what we're doing is we're going to be making a combination lock. One that's possibly so hard to break that even if you know the combination, it's still going to be next to impossible to actually do it. So strap yourself in and let's go for it. So what we've got set up so far is three jukeboxes and we've got our door permanently closed using this redstone torch. Now, all that we should have to do is to actually power this block right here and this should unpower the torch and then everything should hopefully be unpowered and the door should open. Now to do this, we're going to do it hopefully via three of these jukeboxes. So the idea being is that you have to have the correct song playing on all three jukeboxes at the same time and that's the only way that things would open. So this is going to be a bit sort of complicated so I might actually move these back a little bit just because I think that they're going to be a bit too close to the path otherwise because these things tend to be a bit sort of large unfortunately. Alright so what we'll do first of all is we need to have a way for all the records to basically go and cycle through the jukebox so luckily enough in the last episode we did make something quite like that so we just need some glass that's probably the best place to start and we're just going to go around a little bit like this so that any of the items that are dropped above it will go flying up into the air kind of like this and we'll do the same for the other ones so nothing too complicated so far uh you gotta remember now you gotta remember that i am actually making these up on the spot so I haven't pre-planned any of this, so I'm just sort of trying to come up with it as we go along. But I think that we should be pretty good as far as actually making this possible. So if we do a little bit of a winding around here and do it the same for this side, I, I probably could have actually built these a little bit closer together, but that's, you know, neither here nor there. It's an extra block or two. I mean, it's not the biggest thing in the world. And what we'll need to do as well is we'll need to actually have some of our old hopper friends. So if we also grab a, which one do I need? I think it's a dropper actually. So we're just going to go down here and we'll chuck in some droppers facing upwards so that we can chuck records into the jukeboxes from below. So like that. And then finally this one, we can just basically do the last one like that. Okay, now we have our hoppers. Now the hoppers are fairly expensive. I, I really need to figure out some way to make that a lot cheaper because hoppers aren't the cheapest thing in the world, but they're not the worst. Yeah, it's kind of a 50-50 sort of situation. But, you, you know, it, we're, we're working with something. That's okay. We're, we're, we're just basically working with something at the moment. So again, we'll go around here so that we can pick up anything that we do actually drop and then finally we can just go nope nope not there why would that go there and just on this side that should be perfectly fine okay now from here i think if we actually chuck one extra one at the front that should mean that we don't lose any blocks so these blocks should hopefully keep everything all sort of inside the area i haven't really had any sort of problems but it, it's worth doing the blocks just in case you are afraid of losing records because truth be told records aren't the easiest thing to get in minecraft that they're really really a bit of a challenge sometimes so let's go around build a few of those and i could probably even fill in these areas a little bit and then we can just go around here and bring out two more lines around here and over here and then finally just that one that should be pretty okay and if we just extend these a little bit further that should be not too bad i i can't see any real issues with that so we should be okay now actually i've just thought of something that could be a bit of a problem is that i haven't thought about where i'm going to have the comparators coming out of uh, that, that's a bit of a problem actually so comparators where could i had them coming out of because i think i had them from the side last time which does make it a bit more harder what if instead i do it the opposite way would that work um 
So if I had a comparator coming out here, then what I could do is, no, if I had a comparator from the back, because we, we don't want people to be able to see too much of the redstone. Okay, so here's the thing. If I build it so that the comparator reading the jukebox is actually at the front, then people would be able to guess what song that they actually need to unlock that door. So that's not going to work. What we need to do is have the comparator that's sensing the jukebox and what song's playing in it at the back because we can't have it obviously up to the side because that will basically just cause more problems. So we need to have that coming up to the back. Uh, to do that, oh, I've just got an idea. What if I just use redstone dust and maybe have it coming up on top? Does that work? Not really. Ah, let me think about this. Okay, so what I think we might try with this one, because it is a little bit different, we might see if maybe we can extend the hopper line out the front here, get rid, get rid of a bit of the hopper line at the back, because otherwise it's going to be a bit sort of too difficult to do. And then we can have it like that and like that. That should be okay. I think it should be okay. We'll find out shortly anyway. So this one and this one we need to get rid of. We'll chuck in some hoppers here and here. And then one extra one there so that, uh, in fact, no, no, that should be perfectly fine actually. I should be able to just have it like that. And then what we could do is put some glass at the top just to make it sort of look a bit more presentable. So a little bit like that. And then we can grab rid of those two as well chuck it in like that now we want to make sure that the records can't really escape too easily so let's chuck in a little bit more glass like that and then finally i think maybe if we had another bit of glass going along here so can can i still reach those i can't really reach those i don't think i can Maybe we need to have the path down a bit lower. Yeah, let, let's, let's put the path down a bit lower. <laughs> That's probably going to be the only way. Okay, let, let's retry that. Okay, now the path is lower, so that should be hopefully okay. Let's chuck a few more blocks in here, just so that hopefully the records don't escape. And I might even just chuck an extra hopper just in the front, just out of that fear of losing records, because they're, they're just so darn hard to get so let's chuck a few in like that and that should be fine i should be able to click that without any problems and we should be able to have a water stream returning all the records back down the front before they inevitably return to the very back here and then we can detect what's basically in the jukebox and when records come in and now we should have all the hoppers facing the correct ways which they are and that should be all okay. So now if we grab a little bit more glass, put it up the top here, like that. And you probably wouldn't have this much glass. You could probably see through it from the front. So you may want to actually change out some of these maybe for a solid block. In fact, I might even do that. Let, let's do that quickly just so that we, we can make this look a little bit more realistic. So that hopefully people can't see the redstone. <laughs> Otherwise, it's kind of a bit cheaty. Uh, if you can see the redstone, it's not not really great. Okay, so the next thing from here is we just need to chuck in some signs just so that our water streams don't actually start flowing all the way out the front and all that sort of stuff. Otherwise, again, that would be kind of a bit messy. So we've got signs in there. Now I should be able to just grab some water and we can do a few buckets like this. This should be enough to return all the records back to the original spots, which should be okay. We might test that. Did I just accidentally destroy that? <laughs> Literally my mouse hit the keyboard and it destroyed the jukebox. Okay, let's try some records. So let's try a couple of pig step and that and change record and change record. Now, are they going into my inventory? I don't think they are, which is good. Yep, 
yeah there we go so they're definitely not going into my inventory which is good we want that so that's all working pretty much perfectly exactly as we want so now it's just a matter of basically trying to get it so that all the system is working properly now straight away I am regretting that I haven't put the comparators in yet because they need to be facing that direction so yeah that's like directly underneath this block and are these turning to ice I'm too high up that that's the problem here <laughs> okay well, that actually worked weirdly enough in my favor but that's okay <laughs> of course of course I try to put water streams down when I'm too high in the air that, that's that's perfectly fine. That's not a problem. We're all good. I, I, I can fix that. It's not a problem. <laughs> okay, so we've got some comparators in. And let's obviously chuck in some torches. Because otherwise those water streams will never actually turn back to water. So something a little bit like that. And let's just chuck some blocks on top just for a bit of laughs. So that should be okay. And what we also need to do is we also need to just chuck in a comparator on the back one here. That way that we know whenever something's actually come through the whole system, what will happen is that it will land in one of these ones and then it will slowly make its way around, making its way always through this one. And that should mean that we get basically a power system. Does it need to be three hoppers long? I believe it might need to be three hoppers long. That could be a problem. H how many records are there? How, how many different types of records? Okay, so in fact, if we've got five in here and we've got nine in here, that should be 13. And I believe there's actually 13 records, which there is. Yep, yep. Okay, so that should be okay. We, that hopper should be empty. So that the mass works out that that should be okay. All right, so now we need to chuck in a few more comparators on each of these just like so and now that should be all pretty much the comparators that we need done and we of course need to actually power this anytime that we have the uh, records come back through so to do that what we might do is what what's probably the easiest way I think I used redstone dust and a sticky piston and a redstone block last time I might do that again actually. That's probably one of the easiest ways. I, I reckon I could just use redstone dust though. Yeah, I, I could. I might just use redstone dust. It, it's probably just easier. Yeah, that, that should actually work. So if we just chuck in a bit of dust like that, then that one should be fine. And again, if we chuck in a bit of redstone dust just on top of that one, no, I've built that too low. So that actually has to be up here because I'm, yeah, out of a comparator, you need to have it the same height and then I can step it down one. But the problem is with this design is that the hopper is not going to be full enough to power two blocks. So I would have to use also a repeater. And that would mean that there's a bit of a problem with that, which yeah uh, yeah I'm, I might just use a sticky piston I, I'm just going to use the easier way that that's definitely definitely going to be a lot easier all right so all we have to do is grab a redstone block like that and we can just chuck it in here and that should be pretty much fine all right so the next one we just chuck a sticky piston here redstone block in here then we can just grab some redstone dust like this and some blocks and that should be it so that should be the majority of the circuit nice nice easy sort of circuit it'd be nice if i could probably figure out a way to make it a bit cheaper with just using redstone dust and stuff but yeah if it works it's simple why not use it okay so that should be the order on system so that should be all okay now the tricky part comes at the comparator here so this needs to detect what record we're actually playing now how this actually works is quite simple you see each record that we have in our inventory each one actually puts out a different signal so the actual signal strength will be a different length for every single one of these with pigstep being the largest amount and obviously 13 being the smallest 
So we can actually detect what record is inside a jukebox, which is very useful for us. However, I'm just thinking, does this work? I'm not that. Yes, does this work? This should work as far as I'm aware, otherwise it could cause some problems. Yeah, there we go. That works well. And that, just as a bit of a test, should work. Eventually. No? Where, where did my record go? That's an interesting question. Where, where did my record go? Surely, did it never leave the... Yeah, yeah, that worked. That worked. Okay. I, I, I thought I was going mad for a second there, but that's okay. It all worked. Okay, so all that we need to do now, now that we've got all of our systems set up, is to figure out a way to make a combination of all three, meaning that it only detects it when it's an exact signal strength, and then have that feeding straight into this system right here to turn off this redstone torch. What I think we might do is we might actually get rid of our pistons and move those down a little bit because Obviously, if we actually have, say for instance, the block right here powered, then it does cause issues with the piston. So we need to move it down a little bit. So that should be okay to do. That's not really any sort of major problem, but it's just a slight tweak that we need to do. And I don't know, redstone looks kind of cool with it. So that's okay. And let's do the last one like that. Get rid of those, have a normal block here. Sticky piston and then redstone block, just like that. And then we can do the same for these ones. Nope, nope, that needs to be a regular block, a sticky piston, and then finally a redstone block. So that should all work now. So this means that this block can be powered without too much of an issue, or at least have a power block above it without any sort of problems. And now all that we need to do is to be able to take out a signal out of any of these without it causing us any sort of problems. Okay, so what I've got is basically a very simple little circuit now that is designed to turn off this redstone line. So how this works is if I just turn this off for a moment, you'll see that I basically have a chest that's... <sighs> okay, okay. I forgot that I built a system where I automatically had playing discs. So how this works is that we've got the comparator here detecting the jukebox and up here is our signal that we get out of it. Now what will happen is that this comparator is basically going to take this signal and it's going to basically feed it into here. Now what will happen is that this comparator takes the signal strength out of this chest which basically has been set to one space less than what we actually have. The reason why we're doing this is that you can basically just adjust how many items are in this chest and it will basically adjust what song we're actually detecting. So visually, you can't tell the difference between this song and another song. The next thing is I could easily do this with pistons, except that you would hear the noises every single time something activated or deactivated. So yeah, pistons aren't going to be very useful in this case. So what we need to do is basically have a certain signal strength where if it's not enough, then it won't turn off this torch. And if it's too much, then basically it will overpower the system, power up this redstone dust, then the repeater takes it and then powers things anyway. So very, very ingenious and very, very cool in a way. So. If we build another two of these modules and I'll program them for different songs, then you'll see how this all works. So another thing is that as far as these ones go, these ones need to be in subtract mode with the torch on. These ones don't really matter at all, so you don't have to worry about those. And our chests, well, probably best to have just a single chest because otherwise it will probably get a bit too confusing. And then what we can do from there is just basically have our redstone dust up there and there so on each side it's like that and i haven't built this long enough apparently so so let's build it a little bit longer like that yeah okay so yeah definitely all working without any sort of problems 
So then what we're going to do is just chuck in some repeaters, a little bit like that. Chuck in some redstone torches like that and that. And now let's chuck in some random records. I, I, I need some more records apparently. It doesn't matter what you use, you can use swords or whatever else that you want. And let's see if we can just program these for any old random songs. So these are not going to be anything in particular. And hopefully that should be a different redstone signal. Yep. And there we go. So now we've got a few different songs. Now let's check. In fact, let's, let's hook this up. Let's hook it up and see if it all actually works to start off with. So if I put just some redstone dust down here, and then we have the redstone dust going down here and have a repeater, then that opens up the door. This is seriously one heck of of a crazy security system. To explain this a little bit further, let, let me just display what this system actually is. This is a system where you have 2,200 possible combinations and you've got about 30 seconds to get it correct perfectly with no indication of, you know, some sort of audio sound actually telling you that you've got it correct. So you can't hack this system and not only that, but you've got a very, very short time period and a massive amount of combinations. I mean, it's gonna be hard enough getting this correct, even if you know what the combination is because you've got such a short period of time and it takes time for the records to switch over. So that that's just, <laughs> that's just insane. <laughs> this is absolutely nuts. But let's see if we can try and uh, obviously try this out. So let's grab one of each of the records and fill up the whole system with all the records that we need. Oh, look at that. I can't even fill up my inventory with all the records that we would need. <laughs> That's insane. That is literally insane. That there's, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm ruining it. I'm ruining it. Okay, let's fill up that section. So the, yeah, they, they do actually fit in quite well. I, I do think I got it wrong in the previous video where I started actually having three hoppers because I didn't actually need three hoppers. I only needed two, well, one hopper and a uh, dispenser. Uh, not dropper, dropper, not dispenser. And the final one's now in. Okay, so let's give this a shot and see what it's like. So, wait, that's too many pig steps in there. Oh no, I've got to get one of the pig steps out. Uh, yes, okay, so now I've got one of the pig steps out, so that's still powered. And once we actually have pig steps show up on this one, it should be correct. Not that one. You gotta also remember that unfortunately that there's no actual order to this. So it's just a random occurrence <laughs> that makes it even harder. So trying to get a particular song to actually play using this system is very sort of luck and chance. So you can't just press it five times and expect to get it correct. You, you've got to wait until a random shuffle occurs and then you have it correct. Meanwhile, you do have a one in 13 chance of getting it. Why, why is that not working? Why is that not working? Have I just discovered a small flaw with my actual machine? I have, haven't I? Well, this is a bit of a pickle. <laughs> it turns out that my machine has this small, small, tiny little flaw where if the record actually lands right on the hopper where the uh, <laughs> where the comparator is, that uh, yes, the thing stops working. Ah, <sighs> okay, fine. All right. So what we need to do to fix this problem because it, it's rather a big sort of problem here that we have. So to clarify, what's happening is that. If we actually have one of the records land right where the comparator is, because that one's the direct one that goes into this, um, we're, we're, we're actually detecting this one here. So if that occurs, what will happen is that it won't, what well, it won't actually automatically flick to the next record, which means that we don't actually have this dispensing anything at all. In fact, it's not even turning on. So we need to now make it so that nothing can be picked up by this one right here. And to do that, I think that the only real possible way is 
probably to actually replace this with a block and then have the comparator right here, 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 just, just place it. Okay, there we go. And it means that I need to move all the redstone one block this way. Ah, why? <laughs> Okay. Okay, and thanks to the miracle of editing, what we now have is everything moved exactly one block this way. Now that it's all fixed up, and that's the wrong way. Why is that the wrong way? What? Have, what? <laughs> hang on. Wait. So it's normally open. Hang, hang on. I I I didn't realize this, but I actually stuffed something up before. I must have stuffed something up. Okay, let, let's just fix this a little bit and reverse it. So let's have it with that and redstone torch. Um, in fact, I've already got one and just one here. Okay, so that's normally closed now. That, that should be all fine. So what this means is this should be all up and running except one, one minor little technical problem and I'm just going to fix that up right now. See what the problem is, is I've just realized that there's no way to automatically start the system. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a start and a stop system. So the reason for this is basically, well, you, you need a way to initialize it and you probably want to turn it off at some stage. Otherwise it's just like music from three different jukeboxes continuously. And no one wants that. No one wants that. So you can set this up in any sort of way. I'm just going to use the redstone no lever. There it is. And we're just going to chuck in some redstone dust. A little bit like this. And chuck it in like that. And finally just a one on each of those. And we should be pretty fine. So to turn it on. Doesn't that sound horrible? In fact, I've just realized a slight flaw with this is that basically, if you've got three jukeboxes at the same time, you can't tell what the song is. Um, how, how do I turn this off? <laughs> I, but no. Okay. Okay. All three are now turned off and won't turn back on. Ha, huh, that was horrible. Okay, so to do this, what we're going to do is we're just going to unlock that and then we're just going to give it a quick flick. Now it will play a song and hopefully we can get Pig Step to come up. Nope, that's not depowering it. The first one's at least the easiest. Nope. You've got literally a 1 in 13 chance of getting Pig Step here. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> this is the worst combination lock ever. There's there's no way anyone's breaking into this. I I know I know the combination. And I still can't get into this. <laughs> I can't even get past the first one. I did actually leave Pig Step in here, right? Where where is it? It's not even in the right hopper yet. No wait, do, do these get cycled or do they not get cycled? Does it always take from the first one? Ah, oh, I've just completely missought a problem that's occurring. In fact, what I could do is I could get another dropper and drop it into the other dropper. That, that would work. Okay, so if we put a dropper in that dropper and that dropper drops into that dropper and then I can now put those songs in and it should be a random order now. It's just a matter of it getting powered, but that should be automatically powered by the redstone dust bar. Low it. This should now dispense something. No, it doesn't. Did, did that just work? I reckon that worked. Wait, how am I missing one? Hang, hang on, let's sw switch out to the next song. Hopefully this works. Come on, please work. Okay, we've got one in there missing. We've got four in there. Okay, that works. So we had to change the redstone signal a little bit. And as you can see, it's 
yeah, a, a little bit different. We've got that one set to one tick, that one set to four ticks. And the, the music just doesn't stop on this thing. <laughs> it really doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that all works now. But we need to move the stopping system now. Otherwise, there will be a problem. Can I move this system over here without any problems? I imagine I probably could. I reckon I can. Yeah, yeah, I, I can move the systems to the side. Okay, let's let's fix these up. So how this is now that we've got two droppers, and we've got one here, and obviously one here. And what should occur is that that one should fire first, meaning that it puts it into the jukebox in here, and then this one fires, putting it into that one. So this should all finally, finally work. But I do need to fix up the other systems because I haven't done that yet. So if I just quickly fix those up, then we should be all up and running. And done. Okay, so that should fix up everything. So if I activate this now, this will basically activate this one. In fact, what happens if I pull that twice? Nothing really happens. Okay. Does It doesn't drop anything anyway, does it? No? No? Ooh. Did that just drop a record? I hope that didn't drop a record because that would be a problem. Okay, so if I now click that, eventually we should get is pick step coming up. And it will happen a random one in 13 chance. So th there's potentially a pretty good chance that eventually I'm going to actually be able to break into this. Okay, pig step is now in the first dropper, which is in a good good position. Because droppers don't really, uh, they, they don't have any sort of set order to what order they drop things in. So it is complete luck and chance. I've been literally sitting here for like two minutes waiting for this song to come up. Yay, there we go. Okay, lock it into place. So I've just realized before that these actually serve as locks now. So it actually takes away the time element to it, which, yeah, I mean, there's still 2200 combinations. So yeah, good luck getting that right. <laughs> okay, so let's just figure out what the other ones are and then we should be good from there. Uh, so to power this up for the first time, I have to do that. And nope, that's not the right one. This gets really annoying. <laughs> this gets literally really annoying. Uh, nope, that's too powerful. That's not powerful enough. I, I honestly don't even know how many songs or what song this actually is. So I'm just randomly trying songs. <laughs> it's just random here. Okay, so we have two. Nope, nope, I need to power that up for the first time. Okay, and here we go. So the third song, and third lock in place. Okay, so what I've done is I've basically calibrated it now to these two songs, and also picked up, I can't remember what their names are right now, which is obviously turned off all three, turns off this circuit, which opens our door. Oh man, in some ways, it's a little bit cheaty having the locks there, but at the same point, it's also, well, if you didn't have the locks there, well, you, you, you would never, you would never be able to get into your own place. So yeah, it, it's, it's definitely very interesting, this build. I mean, it's not overly massive, but to have 2200 combinations and based on musical melodies, that's not going to be easy to get into. That, that's going to take some considerable time to get into your own place. But these locks are very, very useful in this. <laughs> I, I would not want to have to do this within time limit. I think having the time limit there, it's possible, but it would just be next to impossible. That that You just have to be really, really lucky. So yeah, I, I think the reality is that this is probably the best sort of way I could set it up. And good luck anyone ever getting into that one because Yes, it, it's just next to impossible. It really honestly is. So how you would use it is just basically turn that off, flick the record, and it will start playing the next record. And just don't leave it unlocked. I mean, that that's probably the only thing I could say because then they'd be able to see the record. 
But aside from that, yeah. I mean, if I was to just basically come here and let's turn it off, or let's turn the machine on, and let's go through trying to get the correct one. So let's imagine that I've just gotten these two correct. And let's flick around with these ones so that we can try and get the correct combination and see how long it takes us to get one of these. We're doing all right so far. Okay, not the not the correct one, obviously. But we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Obviously not the correct one. All right, here we go, here we go, come on. And if you wanted to be really cheeky, what you could do is put a few records in because you still have a bit of a gap as far as I remember on this second one here. So yeah, yeah, you, you could fit a few more in there if you really, really wanted to, but... Oh, wait, I, I just literally lucked out and got that one. Okay, well, let's lock that one in and there we go. So yeah, probably the, one of the most worst combination locks imaginable in the craft. It, it's just crazy. You, you've got a 1 in 13 chance, randomly chosen, three times over. I reckon you could even have a fourth one, which would mean that the possible combinations would be four being the tens of thousands or not. I don't know, but yeah, you, you could probably fit in a fourth one there, which is definitely crazy. So yeah, in fact, if you just had, now that I think about it, repeaters in here so that it'll just carry the signal on you could make this as long as possible you could basically have say for instance five of these or six of these or seven or ten and you could basically have the world's worst combination lock because it's possible to do practically impossible to actually break without looking at the redstone i mean w without being able to look at the redstone I just don't think you're going to be able to just chance it. I mean, there's too many combinations of how you could actually get into this. Pretty crazy, right? 2200 combinations? I don't think you're breaking in. All right, well, I hope you guys like the episode, and I'll catch you, as always, my musical friends, in the next one. Bye!